Omicron may be waning, but some residents on one rural island are still worried about a lot of virus being seen in their community. KITV Force Kristen Concilio reports what county is still struggling with the highest case positivity rate in the state. Mel Raposo says he's lost at least eight relatives and close friends to COVID-19. Like most others, the Kauai native is weary of the ongoing pandemic, but knows it's far from over. He lost a police officer a couple of weeks or last month, very young, had a family. He, we lost him to COVID. I lost two very dear friends uh, two months ago, uh, a mom and her daughter to COVID. Uh, I've lost the first cousin. We have to be concerned because there is still a lot of virus here on Kauai. Kauai County reported 20% of today's COVID cases for the state, a big number for the small rural island. The island's test positivity rates the highest in the state at 12.8%, double the rate in Honolulu County. Since the start of the pandemic, Kauai recorded 24 coronavirus deaths, five in just the last week alone. This is a harsh reminder that we need to continue to, to take this virus seriously for the most vulnerable members of our community. Kauai doesn't have a safe access program like Honolulu and doesn't require vaccine cards or negative COVID tests before people can enter into public places such as restaurants or bars. And I think that is part of the reason why our a positivity rate is higher because we don't have the restrictions as the other islands. Still, Kauai's seven-day average daily case counts less than half of what it was just two weeks ago. But that could easily change. Epidemiologist Tim Brown's predicting at least one or two new variants in the next year. He says there's been about five variants over the last two years, or one every five months. And what I really worry about right now is that Everybody thinking this is over after Omicron, I worry that when people let their guards down, basically, you know, we will not be prepared when the next one hits. The latest concern? COVID infections surging following gatherings over Super Bowl weekend. Kristen Concilio, KITV4, Island News.